For decades, a Hartsful woman has been searching for her birth family after being adopted as an infant. And tonight, ABC 15's Emma Parkhouse has more on her long journey of finding her loved ones and the last piece of the family puzzle she's still looking for. Julie Powers was born on April 2nd, 1965 in Miami, and almost immediately she was adopted into her family and raised with five siblings. Julie always knew she was adopted and lived a beautiful life, but she was always curious about her birth family. I had different thinking, I did things differently, and, and I thought to myself, you know what, I wonder if they're the same way. and. Um, it was it was just very emotional for me because I, I really I just really wanted to know where I came from. It wasn't until she was 16 and mailed a copy of her birth certificate that Julie started getting those answers. I looked at the envelope and it said it was addressed to me and it said Julie Gentry and I said oh that's my last name Gentry that's exciting and now I know I'm a gentry. Years later in 1996, now knowing their names, Julie began her journey looking for her birth parents. I looked up all of the gentries uh, under my dad's name in the phone book and I wrote them all down and there were pages and pages of them and she was the first one I called, which was amazing. Um, she picked up the phone and I spoke with her and I, I said, I, I think I'm one of your daughters you gave up for adoption. Sure enough, it was her birth mother. Asking her questions about their family, Julie learned her father had passed three years before in 1993. But what she learned next, Julie's journey of connecting with her birth family was growing more than she ever imagined. Julie was one of 11 children from her birth parents, and seven of them were put up for adoption at birth. I asked her, why did you give us up? And, and she was forthright, and she said, well, it, it, simply we, we couldn't afford you. We just, we just couldn't afford to, to raise all these children. So we wanted to give them a better life. And I thought that was very, very touching. That's how our journey began. So I spent the next four years with her up, up until she passed away. And she handed me all of the paperwork of everything that she had, because she was trying to look for her children herself. Unfortunately, Julie learned five of her siblings had already passed, but for decades she continued searching for the other five. DNA testing eventually helping her find her first brother, Daryl, the youngest of the group in Tallahassee. Julie then locating one of her sisters also in Florida, but says she wasn't ready to build a relationship. Julie accepting of her sister's decision continued looking for her twin brothers, Dave and Jeff. She was sharing her story in adoption groups on Facebook, hoping someone would see it. One day out of the blue, a woman contacted me and she was a search angel for one of the adoption sites. And she said, I'd love to help you. Julie sending all of the paperwork she'd gathered on the twins and just a day later, the search angel found them in Scottsdale, Arizona. Julie eventually meeting them for the first time. It was just a a wonderful reunion with with them and to see them in person and to hold them and touch them because I was looking for them for for 26 years and when I finally found them it was just magical magical but her search isn't over just yet Julie is looking for one more sister born in Florida at Tampa General Hospital on August 13th 1967 I'm hoping that I find her, that we all find her, and that we can get together and join her. We don't know where she was adopted to. She could be in, still in Florida or in another state. Um, so finding her would be that last piece of the puzzle. If she were to see this, what would you tell her? Oh, I would, I would say, um, if, if you see this, please, contact the station and please reach out to me, reach out to the crew here because you have a lot of siblings who would love to meet you. 
Emma Parkhouse, ABC 15 News. And as the search for her sister continues, Julie says she's just so grateful to continue growing relationships with her three brothers. She says they all wish that they lived closer to one another, but they're actually making plans to visit Hartsville later this year.